Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be installing this Video Doorbell Pro. It's from Ring. It's the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. We're going to try it out and see if it works. Stick around and I'll show you how to hook it up. Okay guys, so what we have here is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. You guys have probably seen a lot of YouTube videos on this. Uh, we've been wanting one for a while and they were pretty pricey. Uh, you could get knockoffs for like 40 or 50 bucks. But we found, she found this one on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace or something. She goes through and looks at things every once in a while. Found this one. It was $85. Now, she said that it's never been used. I see some signs that it has been used, but we'll just have to see. So, it it better work, you know. So, let's open this up. And I'll show you what it's got in it. It's got everything. This is your, you know, your guide and everything to tell you how to hook it up and stuff, which... It's not hard to do. Uh, I've done some research on it, and it's just pretty much like replacing your doorbell. Okay, but like here's the setup instructions, setup steps. First thing they want you to do is to download the app and then install it. So that's what I'm going to do first. Is I'm going to download the app, and then we're going to get into this now I'm not sure how to set up the app so I'm not going to be you know uh, covering that I guess it's pretty simple um, here it is right here see that's kind of scratched up but it does not have the film removed <clears throat> excuse me it does not have the film removed so and then down in here is the installation tools so now one thing it's supposed to come with is a screwdriver and I'm not seeing a screwdriver but anyway and this has to go inside it inside your doorbell that's in, in, in the house see it looks like this has already been used this is just a you peel it off and you stick it on something so it looks to me like this has already been stuck on something okay so We'll just have to see if it's if it's been used i mean if it doesn't work she's going to take it back and that, that's all there is to it because i you know i mean 85 dollars you know if it was 5 10 even 15 maybe i'd let it go but you know for 85 bucks no it it better work okay and you have this here which is the bit now the bit's never been used this is for drilling through concrete which that's probably what we're going to have to do uh, see like these screws shouldn't be out of this pack here. This is a, a security screw Which you need that screwdriver because I don't know if I've got any security bits that small or not um, And the anchors I don't see the anchors in here anywhere Maybe they're down in here. I doubt it. So I don't know if they're taking stuff out or what but it's definitely not all here So I don't know what this does is it locks Whichever one of these you want to use for your cover, it goes into this hole. There. It goes into that hole right there and it, it locks, just keeps it from popping off of here. So, I mean, you know, I hate that when, you know, something's been open but we don't know why. I even asked her, I said, well, why, you know, why'd you get a new one? You know what I mean? These, uh, this is a wedge mount, which is supposed to have more than one. Um, so, like, this will angle it to a certain way. Angle it this way. There's supposed to be another one that would angle it up and down. And I don't see that in here. So, I mean, anyway, it, it just better work. So, I'm going to have to use my own, uh, like I said, this is a security. They call it security bit. It's got a little thing in there. It's a Torx, but it's got that little, you got to have one with a hole in it. Now, I've got some, but I don't know if I've got any this small. And like I said, the uh, anchors aren't with it. So, we'll just have to go from 
from there. I've got anchors, but that's beside the point, you know. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the first step, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to download the app. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Um, you got to shut your, uh, where your transformer is, you got to shut it off at the breaker. So it's got all this, all this stuff with it. Um, so, but anyway, that's the first thing we do is they want you to download the app. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll start, we'll start with the, um, putting, installing it. Okay guys. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take the cover off of the, uh, your existing doorbell. Now we're going to want to we're going to put this deal in. Now it doesn't matter which one goes where, but you're going to want to go to your where it says front and transformer okay so I'm gonna stick one wire under here Turn like that and the transformer and it's going to go under here let's move this over here like that and it should be good and this normally would have a sticky thing on it but it doesn't don't want it touching your bombers there. Should go like that. There we go. Just like that. Now we're going to go out front and we're going to put the doorbell itself in. Okay, now we're going to unhook our, our old one. It's only got one screw in it. It's always only had one. I don't know why, but and that just came apart. set this down here there's a couple Phillips Phillips or straight standard or whatever I'm going to unhook this and we're going to unhook this one You guys can't see nothing I'm sorry all right now we're gonna go get our doorbell uh, looks like there's a fray right there so I'm going to just go ahead and clip this off someone used telephone lines which is fine I'm gonna go ahead and clip this off though and um, trim that back so it doesn't there's a break looks like it's a potential break so I'm gonna go ahead and clip it back here and uh, trim them wires off and then we'll drill some holes hang tight guys okay so this is just real simple we're gonna clip this off 
to expose the wires underneath. Now I know the ones that go into the transformer, I know they're green and red, so we're not gonna need the black and yellow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip them off. You don't have to tape them up because they're not hooked up to anything. Well, I don't. Your, your application may be a little different, but. Uh, there's one. There we go. Okay, there's those two. Now what we're going to do is we'll put this right over the hole where I'm where I'm going to want this to be. So it's going to be about right there I'm just gonna mark that and mark that one so there's one and it looks like that one yes and there's gonna be one here so all right now Got to get my drill plugged in, and we're going to make these holes, and we're going to put our anchors in. It's just going to be like that, and we're going to put our screws in. Well, then we'll hook this up and put our screws in, and then we're going to turn it on and try it out. always good to use a hammer drill if you got one which I do except the battery's dead in it so now let's go ahead and hook these up it does not matter which one goes where so. we're just gonna Hook them wires up to that. Put this in here. Give that a little wrap. Wrap that the way you're turning. You're going to turn the screw. So wrap it to the right. Store it on the left and go around to the right. Same way with this one. That way it helps tighten the wire as you tighten the screw. There, just like that. Get them, get them snug, you don't have to over tighten them. Now, let me get my anchors out of my pocket. Hopefully these anchors will work look kind of small for that drill bit but we'll go ahead and try to put a screw in and see if it'll tighten up as we go okay freaking B Yes, it seems like it's going to be tightened all right. I'm not sure what cover she's going to want to use on it. 
Uh, I noticed they have a tan. That's kind of what what the house is. So I'm kind of partial to the gray. Yeah, it spread out enough. It worked. All right, cool. All right. Now the part everybody loves. Let's let's zoom you in here. We love peeling this stuff, right? It says to remove film. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's one. Come on. Well, I know one thing, the film has never been removed. That's a good thing. Set it right there. There we go. There's that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in. You guys keep an eye on that. I'm gonna put the power on for this thing and you should see this light start lighting up. So give me one second and I'll go in and do that. <clears throat> Welcome to Ring, the world's most advanced doorbell. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. And it's doing its thing. Now it will do that for a couple minutes. Don't be alarmed. It's just doing its setup thing. Uh, also, your transformer has to be 16 volts. Okay, so if you have like before 1994, which I think this house is a 94 or 96, and it's always had one of these in it, chances are it's going to be a 12 volt. It's not going to work this. Okay. So we're going to let it do its thing, and I'll kick you back on after it's done doing its thing. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Here we are. Here we are. See? I'm waving. I'm waving at the camera, and I can hear my voice in here. See? What's that? See? I'm waving. Yeah. All right, so All right. it is working. It's working. Now I just got to set, set it up and to let's see. There, I turned the speaker off for a second. Okay, so it is set up. Now I just got to set up my motion perimeter and you know stuff like that. And I got to set it up to where it's not going to pick up cars because then it would always be going off so let me get that set up and i'll be back with you and let you know what i think of it okay guys so as far as installing this thing it's nothing to it if you've already got a doorbell um if you don't you can get a a battery pack for these a rechargeable battery pack or you can plug it in it's no big deal but that's how you install this thing to your existing doorbell it's no big deal when you go to the app like I said download your app first and then when you um, after you install it when that that light is um, spinning it's connecting so um, your app it's real real easy to use um, it'll have you scan this code again and to set this thing up and it'll pair up and everything's good to go now it's like 30 days free yeah it's it's like I think it's like 30 days free and then it costs like $30 a year to use this thing so you know hell I mean that's that's not much um, 
You also, you can set it on people mode where it's only going to pick up a person and you can set up your, um, your record parameter where you want, you know, to record. If I just wanted to record the truck or the vet, but, so I've got it on people only. So, I mean, to activate it, you know, to say, hey, uh, there's someone out here. Um, so that way, every time a car goes past, it's not going to send me or Monkey a message saying, you know, there, there was motion in front of your, your door. So whenever there's a person, it'll, it'll give me a, uh, an alert or Monkey an alert. So I've got the, um, so you can hear That's the uh, microphone outside, so I can't really go out and come back in, but, and then you can talk to somebody outside, there's the microphone, right there's muted. Now I can say something and outside it should be working, so let me put the camera out, my phone's going dead, but let me put the camera out there and then I'll talk on this thing and you should be able to hear me. Okay, I got you set up. Now I'm gonna go in and talk on my phone and you should be able to hear me out here. Hello, check, check, audio check. Check, one, two, one, two, three, four, check. Audio check, hi YouTube, show everyone 1,000 here. Okay, so I'm back. See, I'm real close. I'm real close. So you should be able, so to, you hear should that. Be able to hear that. Cool, huh? Cool, huh? Okay, so I'm okay, going to bring, bring you back in and we'll do, and we'll do our closing. Hang tight. Hang tight, guys. guys. Right I'll be right back. Update. So the ring doorbell worked fine for about 20 minutes and then it started, well, actually, just, you know it started reconnecting and then finally it wouldn't reconnect so I called support been very helpful uh, we did all kinds of troubleshooting and nothing seemed to help so I called today's Monday and it was Friday when we those other clips so I called them this morning and we did some other steps Finally, they put me on phone with on on the phone with Tech. Wonderful people, and uh, he said, and I, I had to send him pictures of stuff and how I got it hooked up. And he said I I hooked it up fine, everything looked great. Um, the problem they have with them sometimes is see, there's a little computer in there, and it got stuck to where it wouldn't. Once it connected, it stayed tried to stay connected. It wouldn't like unconnect and reconnect so it got stuck so that's why it wouldn't hard reset or anything like that so they're sending me a new one no problem uh, they're also sending me a shipping label to send the old one back to them and um, that's it and if I have any problems with that to call them they will take care of me so they take they take care of their people and um, I mean they did an excellent job customer service so if you get one of these you're having problems call customer service they will help you out um, when you first call it says you know um, average wait time your wait time is less than five minutes I haven't had to wait more than 30 seconds on my call went went pretty much through both times uh, today I think I had I had to wait about it was less than a minute and the other night when I called Friday night it was about 30 seconds so they get you right through and uh, very very polite people and they're there to help I mean we went through a thorough job today uh, bypass and all this and um, they did the checks and seen that I already did my homework you know I did the uh, I did, did the speed test, I did the distance test, and uh, everything seemed to be working on my end. And everything I hooked up, I hooked up right, everything was done right. 
So he said, you know, it's on their end. They're going to take care of it. And when they send me the new one, they're going to get it out today. He said, I should have a, a tracking number tomorrow. Um, they're going to send me a return shipping label. So they're going to pay for me to return this one too. So anyway, when that comes in, <clears throat> but that's how you hook it up anyhow. When that comes in, I'll let you know how the new one's doing and uh we'll up some load some footage from the new one but yeah so excellent company excellent company so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it but anyway that's pretty much how you do it it's real simple it's even more simple if you don't have a hard wire you can get it where it's not hardwired where it's battery powered i think i'd mentioned that and uh <clears throat> you just stick it on your wall or whatever and you know um, but this one does have a little battery in it because for like if your power goes out for a second it doesn't have to reset all the time so that's good so yeah anyway uh, I'm so far I'm pretty happy with customer service they took good care of me and um, you know things happen it did work and they they seen that the last time that it was connected they did see that you know I was getting good Wi-Fi signal I was getting more than what I I needed to have uh, I need 16 volts on the transformer. I was getting 18. That was in specs. Awesome. So, anyway, so a shout out to them. I'm not getting paid by them. I just think they did a great job. So, uh, <laughs> Travis, he's he's cool. So anyway, uh, shout out to them. So you know, don't be afraid to get one just because I had trouble with it. They'll take care of you if you do. They will take good care of you. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000 channel. And uh, I think she may be uploading a video today. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll chat you guys soon. Bye-bye and take care.